Welcome to the first audio tool tutorial. This time, we're going to record synthesizers by using the computer keyboard. Before recording, we should activate the fast synthesizer and make sure we can play notes. After that, we open the sequencer by clicking on the top of the screen. We can see an horizontal scroll bar which allow us to move around the project. It is recommendable to change the tempo and activate the metronome in order to play accurately. In this particular case, I suggest to deactivate the loop mode. By clicking with the right mouse button on the fragment, we can see all events recorded. We select one quarter quantized resolution. In case we need to quantize manually, we should select a smaller value. Once we have recorded the fast synthesizer, we should close the mini keyboard. And in the virtual studio, we activate the second synthesizer. We change the octave and rename the synthesizers in order to have a well-organized project. And now we can start recording. By clicking on the new fragment, we can see again all events recorded. And in this case, we select this distinct value to quantize both automatically and manually to the right place. In order to make a good arrangement, we delete the last events and duplicate other ones. In case we want to cut fragments, we select the razor icon which is located on the left side of the screen. After this, we select the arrow tool to select the fragment we want to duplicate. We can even adjust the beginning and the end of the fragment. Once having done this, we select all tracks to place all of them at the beginning of the song. We also have the possibility of setting up a loop, in this case, four bars in length.
If we want to export or share this project as an audio file, we should place the white locator at the very end of the song. In Audio Tool, 8 bars is the minimal length to export. So, we select and duplicate our tracks in order to have what is known in electronic music as a musical phrase. Once having done this, we can share our project, as it was explained previously in the second How to Tool tutorial.